I'm Gigi, this is Super Lesbian Animal RPG, and I gotta find a way upwards. Was there one up here? I don't think so. No. Uh, I think there is one down here. Yes. Hello. I think there was also one at like the top right. Oh, okay, cool. Um, the chest was actually a mimic. So you are gonna fight me. <laughs> they're so cute. Um, and I bet they're probably vicious. Um, let's scorch you. You're made of wood. Um, and guys are you because fuck you. 177. Oh, but it can attack twice. Okay. A lot of health. Scorch. Weak to fire. Nice. And I did as much with geyser. Oh. <laughs> mm. My throat is getting like raw. I only did I'm only this is the third episode I'm recording in a row. So I don't know why my voice is like dying already. <clears throat> Maybe I'm not drinking enough water. Make attacks. <clears throat> But, like, you're dead this turn, so... Get fucked. <clears throat> Boom! Just getting started. Bestiary Mimic! Um, did it drop anything? A lucky coin! Let's see what that does. That's a charm, I bet. That's right back at you, dude. Ooh, more... Okay, yeah, that's good on Jody. I, <laughs> I forgot I even put that on her. That was the amount of gold received from battles? Okay. You've caught my attention. I'm a little short on funds right now. So that might be good on someone. Uh, Mimic. The bane of adventurers everywhere. Mimics are fairly powerful monsters that have magically evolved to take the form of treasure chests to learn unsuspecting explorers. The downside of the strategy, they're just as flammable as an actual wooden chest. <laughs> okay, who can I put this on? Brace yourself, bracelet. What does this do? Just barely survive finishing blows with 1 HP. I haven't gotten that a lot. She needs that. We'll put that on Allison then, because what she's got right now isn't doing her much. Because I am on top of the healing with Melody. Out of my way. Save, since I'm passing by. Now, up here, I think? Excuse me. Okay, this I'm just gonna flee from this because I did this encounter already. Um, get out of my! Don't! It backed away. It backed up into that. Okay. Um, I am so powerful that I can just flee from any battle. Get out of my way. Further on. Further up. Zinnia's house. Hello. You die. You will die. I should have healed. It's fine, it hit Jody. Okay, use your flame rod. 544 as just a base attack with the scorch rod. That is so good. Here we go. This must be the place. Do you know anything about Zinnia, Jody? Not much. Face brought up having a mentor named Zinnia a few times, but we've never met. And I don't think she uses social media. Faith's a good judge of character, though. Any friend of hers is a friend of mine. <laughs> Classic Noctune. Oh, big dragon! Yellow. Uh, hi, is Zinnia home? You're speaking to her. Um, um, I don't know if I want to give her that voice. She's not, she doesn't seem like a nerd like Alphys. She's just a big dragon. Um, oh, where are my manners? You must be Faith's friends. Oh, hold on just a sec. Oh, regular person size. There you go. Sorry for startling you like that. I was just stretching. I get all stiff if I don't morph back to full size every now and again. Uh, I also forget sometimes that most most folks don't run into dragons every day. Uh, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> well, come in, come in. It's chilly out here. I'll make us some tea to warm up. I will- oh, nice door suddenly. I appreciate a good door. So are we on like the right now? 
Um, where are we? So up is the, 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 the Uncanny Valley. Gotcha. Warp to Zinnia's place. So now I don't have to go through Polychrome Cavern. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> She's got like a big carpet. Um, or a big quill. We probably shouldn't track dirt all over this handmade dragon-sized quill. Giant alarm clock. Well, this is, without a doubt, the biggest alarm clock I've ever seen. Yeah, I'd agree. Whoa, look at the size of this pillow. It's as big as a bed. I want you to I want you all to know that I'm extremely tempted to try sleeping on thing, but I'm going to behave myself instead. Good for you, Allison. Here's the regular sized part. Probably shouldn't gawk at Zinnia's stuff before you've even said hello. I will, though. She's got doors. I don't think we have any business out there just yet. And she's got four chairs set up. How convenient. Nice to meet you, Zinnia. My name is Jody, and this is... Oh, there's no need for introductions. Spades told me all about you four over the years. Especially you, Jody. I hope you realize how crazy she is about you. <laughs> Tea, anyone? HP and MP are covered. Nice. I know that you're here on a mission, but we don't need to rush. I don't get to meet new people often these days. So, you're Faith's mentor. That I am. I've tutored many a guardian over the years, and Faith's the latest. I don't come across bright young spellcasters like her often, though. She's really something special. Wait, don't we get a- we don't get a new guardian all that often. How old are you exactly? Allison, it's rude to- oh, about a thousand, give or take. Dragons live a long time. Wow, you don't look like- you don't look a day over 800. Haha, <laughs> I like this one. You must be Allison. And that would make you Melody. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's me. I hear you started training as a healer recently, and on a team with your girlfriend, no less. How's that going? It's, uh, it's going. Oof! I see. And you must be Claire. Yeah, I bet Faith told you all about me. She has. She tells me you're very passionate about your magic studies, and that you're always trying to challenge yourselves. Oh, you remind me someone, uh, of someone I knew a long time ago, actually. She was a great witch herself. Are we going to learn about her? You don't just drop. You remind me of someone without that someone becoming important later. Anyway, we can get down to business in a moment. For now, make yourselves at home. Now I get to explore. Sweet record player. I wish our guild HQ was half as cool as this place. Well, you four are always welcome to visit. You might want to be careful about making offers like that to Claire. Just ask our local librarian. <laughs> wow, sick DVD library, Zinnia. You, you a big movie buff? Oh, I don't know if I'm an expert, but I do have a nice little collection. As you can imagine, living for centuries and centuries gives you a lot of time to kill. Books are great and all, but I was so excited when home video became a thing. I just started grabbing all sorts of stuff so I'd have things to watch. I'm also kind of a sucker for cheesy romance, so I snatched up so many box out of all these long sitcoms and soap operas. Admittedly, streaming has kind of made these useless. No way, a collection is still a nice collection. This is a really solid collection of magic books, but I feel like I'm desensitized after seeing the library in the Guardian's Vault. Faith let you into the vault? I'm not sure that'd even make it into the top 10 weirdest things that have happened to us this week. Uh, my voice is dying. Too many, like, kind of, sort of, not growly, but, like, scratchy voices, I guess. Wow, this couch looks really comfortable. Should we, um, no. Because we just got healed from the tea. I can't inspect the TV. Cruel. Um, Zinnia, who's this giraffe you have all these photos of? I think I've, I think I've seen them in Greenridge before. Funny that they look just like you, though. That's because it is me. Wait, what? How many forms do you have? Enough to suit my needs. Shapeshifting is a natural ability all dragons are born with. I want to be a dragon in that case. We tend to stand out at our full size, and that's not always desirable. Most of the time I use this form, but in public I'll go giraffe mode so that I can blend in with beast folk. Why not just go like this? I have my reasons. Again, I'd rather not stand out, and you don't see dragons every day here in the beast kingdom. Um, because people kill dragons, probably. Dragon hunting is a sport, just like in Avatar. 
Um, also, side note, the icon for this game on my taskbar is a dragon. It's a red dragon. So I wonder what that's about. Um, hold on, I totally waited on you and Giraffe Worm at Piggledy's once. <laughs> that you did. I do try to drop by Greenridge from time to time so that I don't become a total hermit. I probably should have known something was up when you tipped with 900 year old gold coins. Um, I didn't mean to click that again. Zinnia is very cute. I love her. Fridge. Nothing, 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 nothing. Um, more magic books. <clears throat> What's back here? A little flower? A room? Uh, you can see that room later. I still need to make some preparations. Oh, wow, you have a lot of magic degrees. Are most of these honorary or something? Oh, no, they're all real. That's not too hard to do when you've been alive for a thousand years. I try to keep my magic knowledge up to date, so every couple decades or so, I'll enroll at a different magic school to see what's new in academia. Uh, naturally, though, I'll go in disguise to get the genuine experience. I don't want any special treatment. Uh, what if you make friends with your classmates, though? Does living a double life ever get in the way? Oh, if I end up making any new friends, I'll just let them know the truth after graduation. <laughs> the look on their face is always priceless when they find out I've really been a giant dragon the whole time. Um, I don't think you have any business in my bedroom. Oh, my bad. Wait, this place has had a bedroom? I thought you slept out by the front door. Oh no, that's just where I go when I want to laze about in my natural form. It's the only part of the cave where a full-sized dragon will fit. But most days I just stay like this, so I have a regular bedroom now too. And I probably won't go up here. Don't think we have any business out here yet. Uh, but I want to go in the dragon's bedroom. I love seeing characters' bedrooms. Um, let's get serious. Now then, let's get down to it. Faith told me there's a situation you need help with, but she didn't give me many specifics. She just said my knowledge of ancient magic would help. Right, it's, uh, well, it's a pretty extraordinary situation. I imagine Faith doesn't need me to get involved often. Don't worry about me, though. I'm still a spry dragon by standards. I've hardly aged a day since I hit 30. Man, where do I, where to even begin? Okay, I'll just rip the bandage off. We're here to ask if you can... We're here to ask if you can fight the goddess of magic. Uh, sorry, I must have misheard you. One more time. We've been challenged to a fight by the goddess of magic. You probably know as, her as Fortuna, but her name is really Verena. Uh, this can't be... I know. We're sorry, it's a lot to ask of someone. No, no, no. I don't think you understand. I... I knew Verena. Oh, she is thousands of years old. Oh shit. What? Are you sure it was her? Describe her. Uh, well, she had long purple hair that kind of sparkles, and it is her. God, I wish Faith had been more specific in her letter. I guess she had no way of knowing the details, though. That's a part of my past I've tried my best to bury. I just don't understand. Verena's back after all this time. How? And she's threatening Greenridge. Um, not just Greenridge. Ugh. I see. So she wants her magic back. Do you have any idea why she might feel that way? I do. Look, this won't be easy for me, but I have some things to explain. More cutscene! I love cutscene. A little over a thousand years ago, long before Greenridge was founded, I lived here on the Sapphire Islands. There weren't many people here at the time, and I enjoyed the peace and quiet. I had a humble life living off the land. Then, one day, out of nowhere, Verena appeared. <laughs> I was very shy back then in general, but I was especially shocked by Verena. I had never seen a human before, for one thing, but even though she had never met a dragon before, she didn't look at me like I was a monster. And more importantly, she could do magic. You mean you couldn't, even as a dragon? No, we dragons may be special, but we're still technically mortal. And sorcery was the art of the gods back then. I can naturally shapeshift and breathe fire like any dragon can, but I couldn't cast spells. She's so cute with like her little shirt long sleeve shirt and little yoga pants. Verena said she'd been to many worlds and seen many types of magic. She was as surprised as you are that I couldn't do any. Reverie was a world full of magic, she said. Every plant, every animal, everything down to the smallest pebble. I asked her if she could teach me a spell or two. She thought it could be dangerous. She needed a place to stay, so she stayed here with me. I kept asking if she'd teach me magic. Eventually, I wore her down. 
Oh, it's that spell. She realized, though, that I didn't have enough mana to cast spells, so to help me, she performed a little ritual to boost my mana levels. Are we gonna learn more about this spell and why it was very bad? Or why it attracted um, Verena's attention? I'm pretty sure that made me the first mortal spellcaster in the history of Reverie. Whoa! I was far from the last, though. Word got out that Verena was able to teach mortals how to cast spells, and it didn't take long for people to start lining up asking for lessons. Everything felt like it moved so quickly over the next few years. Verena built a tower to call her home. So this was her- I think we knew that, actually, that that was her home. Then we built a small magic school to the north and started taking on students. I had picked up on Verena's lessons pretty quickly, so I helped her out with the teaching. Was that in the lake in Uncanny at Noel Sanctuary? Was that what those ruins were, I wonder? But before long, a rumor started spreading. People started calling her the Goddess of Magic. So wait, is Verena a goddess or not? There's a reason people call her that. Whether or not she's one of the original gods of Reverie, she's as powerful as one. She's not to be taken lightly. There's something I don't understand, though. Sounds like Verena was getting along so well on Reverie. So, what happened? Why is she looking for revenge and trying to take away our magic? Uh. Verena didn't leave by choice. There was... an incident. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you more, but it's a particularly painful memory for me. When I've spent the better part of a thousand years repressing, I don't know what's happened to her in the century since then, and I have no idea who this Javis character she's traveling with is, but that incident a thousand years ago is definitely why she's so bitter about Reverie, and it's also why I can't face her. Everything that happened, it was all my fault. Meeting Verena was one of the best things that ever happened to me, but to her, meeting me and giving me magic only caused her pain. I could try, but I'm sure it would only make things worse. She has every right to be mad at me after the hell she's been through. And even if that wasn't the case, Verena was... She was a dear friend of mine. I could never fight her. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I know you came here looking for my help with this, but this is a battle I can't fight for you. Ooh. Zinnia got mixed up in some drama. Some world-shattering drama. I can't apologize enough for being unable to help with Verena, but... Well, Faith also told me in her letter that you four needed guidance, and I've never been one to turn down a people in need. I can see for myself what she meant by that. You seem lost. So I'd like to propose a little special training. It's the least I can do after you came all the way out here. Sorry, but I don't know if all the training in the world could help us face Verena. I know, but whatever your roles are in all this, I don't think you're ready just yet, physically or mentally. And, well, in times when I feel powerless, I try to focus on the things I can do instead of what I can't. And what I can do is teach. I feel like I kind of lost her voice a little bit. I mean, sure, I guess. Not like we've got any better ideas, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. Excellent. As a little warm-up, I'm running low on the special dragon berries I used to make my dragonberry tea. You four can help me gather some in the mountains while I make some preparations back here. Let's try to turn this visit into a productive one in spite of everything else. I'll meet you in my backyard whenever you're ready to head out. I am very interested in that drama, and I feel like we're going to learn about it eventually. Oh, it's snowy up here. Jeez, it's freezing out here. How is... How is it this cold in the middle of summer? We are high up in the mountains, but also the climate in certain areas of this island is dictated more by magic than by the seasons. Varen and I may have had a hand in that. Okay, hold on. We prepped for this. Everyone hold still for a second. Scorch us. Oh, we, we have little winter clothes now. Nice, much better. Jody, I told you to pick a cold weather outfit. Huh? Oh, I'm fine. It's not that cold. It's literally snowing. Relax, I've dealt with worse. You have any idea how cold Brightport gets in the winter? <laughs> fine, fine. Well, let's head out. Right. First, I think it would be best if you split off into pairs. Uh, really? Okay, well then Melody and I will- Ah, ah, ah! I'm the teacher here. Allow me to make the teams. Um, I sense some tension within the group. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, you've all been under a lot of pressure lately, and I think you could use some room to breathe. Perhaps some time apart on this little wilderness sabbatical will allow you to see things from a different perspective. Allison, you should go with Jody, and Melody will go with Claire, so our physical attackers and our magic attackers. Divide up your equipment if you need to, then let me know when you're ready to go. Um, oh, so that's just like equip and shit. Um, ready to go. Ready to split up? Remember, it's Allison with Jody and Melody with Claire. You're also going to be out there a while, so make sure you've got absolutely everything you need. Um, what if we need to heal? Get her come back to my place. Um, I think I'm probably fine. Hopefully. Flurry Mountains. So I feel like, oh yeah, we're gonna be doing a little bit of switching back and forth, I bet. Mega Ether. I want more of those. Snow Batman, it's so cute and it's going to kill me. Okay, um... I don't imagine you're weak to water, you might even resist it. Scorch. You're weak to Scorch, that's for sure. Ooh, nice. Resists it, yeah. So, our Wave Master is not gonna do too much up here. Um, maybe I'll pass off the Glitch to Melody. That could be good. Nice work. Beastiary Snow Batman. Okay, um, glitch craft. Um, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna use Magical Girl, but I need to just shift these around a little bit. And then Wave Maker, Wave Maker, not Wave Master. Back on Claire, I guess. Because I sold all my scrap, so I don't need Machinist, and Alchemist is alright, I think. Um, but, I don't know, I like having a wide variety of water elements. Got some dragon berries. Duh. So hey, you've been awful quiet lately. I'm a pretty quiet person. Maybe, but not like this. You've barely said a thing all day. Are you doing okay? What? Look, I know something happened with you and Allison. You can talk to me about it if you want. Are you, like, cool with Allison acting like nothing's wrong between you two? Should I not be? You tell me. No, I don't want my girlfriend to sulk. I don't want to bring the whole team down with me. I'd rather just focus on the mission and try to make myself useful here. Besides, I know Allison's going through her own crap right now. She's just better at that. She's just better at hiding it around you. Sorry, I didn't mean to prod. Let's just look for more berries. Melody is not having it right now. Can I go in this little? Oh God! It's like snow, winter, ice music and video games is always so good, and like perfectly gets the snowy ice mood. Nine hundred gold. Um, my timer hasn't gone off yet, but we're getting there, I think. Bushy-tailed bandit EX. <laughs> um, I guess mystery beam, see what we can do with that. Scorchia. Boom. Ooh, it is super weak to that. Oh my god, we destroyed it. Ooh, warm scarf was that. Um, body? Is that a charm? Super warm scarf. Protects the user from freezing, freezing status effects. Not too useful right now. Um, and we got a bestiary. Um, snow Batman. An analysis of how exactly this form makes a snow bat stronger is inconclusive. They seem to be enjoying themselves though. It's, it's wearing a hat and scarf. How does that make it an EX variant? We don't take- we don't make the classification rules, Mona. We just follow them. <laughs> I love these. The bestiary is very fun. Am I over there somehow? Can I go over here at all? No. I am just a little explorer. You! Die! Ooh, pain deer. Oh, you look cool. I love how, like, yeah, there is, like, um, a bit of a motif with um, the different, like, 
like, like these colored monsters, they're like monster monsters, I guess. And they always have like this color palette and they always have that eye with the X through it, which is pretty cool. I am a fan of that design. Um, Scorch you, I guess. Let's see what that does. Painter attacks for 218. Um, weakness, nice. Oh, and I can gust you because you are stupid. And then I can. Oh. oh, it has jolt. Yikes. Boom. Down for the count. Um, bestiary pain deer. Um, ba, ba, ba. Pain deer. Some of the most powerful members of this class of monster found in the Sapphire Islands. Okay, so this class of monster means the purple with the eyes. The pain deer roams the mountains and uses its floating demonic eye to shock its prey with electricity. Um, another super warm scarf, which I don't really need. Um, flip this little lever. And another little cutscene. Uh, I can tell you what happened if you still want to know. Of course. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but no, I don't mind. Uh, Allison said she wanted to quit. Oh. Does she still want to quit? I don't know. I mean, I guess I can't blame her if she thinks she won't stand a chance against Verena. I'm not sure anyone would. It's not that. It's me. I know she wouldn't feel this way if it wasn't for me. I'm holding her back. She wanted to let you, she wanted to let you and Jody go on ahead to Greenwood without us when we were leaving the desert, too. She had her doubts about me, and they were all confirmed by that stupid breakdown I had. That doesn't sound like the Allison I know. She's always seemed like your biggest cheerleader to... Sorry, I'm just rubbing salt in the wound. If there's anyone you should be mad at, it's me. Don't blame Allison. Let's just keep going. Uh, and that opened that up. Okay. Um, let's see. This These little parts aren't too long. We're at 27. I think we're going to eventually hop over to Allison and Jody. So I can go a little bit with this. Oop. Yep, ice, ice sliding. Um, I'm not going here just yet. Up, Twitter. It's a mimic. Yep, I knew it. Can't fool me. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, you guys really look like you're going through some stuff right now. That kind of makes things awkward. Haha. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just gonna leave you alone. Okay, bye. <laughs> it's just out. <laughs> nice. A little bit of humor to relieve the tension. Mega potion. Nice. Gonna have classic ice sliding puzzle. Can't have a video game without these. We slide across it a little bit slow for my taste. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Oh boy. Um. I think I want to start this. Um, what if I just like, here we go. It's a little bit hard to understand the, um, the tile set sometimes. Cause I think, or it's just kind of like based on our sprites a little bit. What? Okay, um... Okay, I see something here. There we go. Um, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. Um, another save point. Um, maybe this section... Okay, um, here. Those dragonberries are up next. But we've probably got, like, treasure up here. I like treasure. Switch that. Go up here. Treasure. Whoa, we got some, a dude sliding. Oh, there's a note from Zinnia in here. You're doing great. Here's a little something to keep you going, Z. How thoughtful of her. What do you think of Zinnia? Huh? Oh, she's great. I know I've been distracted, but I do appreciate her help. I can't believe she's so willing to help us after the bomb we dropped on her. I'd probably be a total wreck in her shoes. 
Everyone copes with hardship in different ways. I guess Zinnia tries to redirect her energy towards helping people. Um, what's on the other side here? Just like, we're like going further and further up. There are so many ways to go here. Um, I'm gonna head back. And we'll get the dragon berries I saw down there. Um, oh, okay. How do I get out of here? Here we go. Um, yeah, cause it, it, can I get down here? Yeah. And I can't go any further down from here, it looks like. You! Okay. Um... I'm gonna chance not healing. Just to deal with this snow batman. Okay, that's good. Attacked Claire, not Melody. Nice! Okay, now I'm gonna heal. Um, Scorch again, because all y'all are weak to fire. Cleric has Scorch, weakness. Um, and now I can just jolt it, why not? It's probably resistant to jolt, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, never mind. No, yeah, okay, no, weak to it. I <laughs> saw Scorch was- it was weak to Scorch, and I thought that was Jolt going off. What about you? Huh? You asked me about me earlier, but how are you holding up? Oh, terrible. The, what else is new? Well, thanks for caring about my well-being, at least. You don't have to patronize me. I know this mess I got us all into blows. You have every right to be mad at me. No, I meant it. Oh, well, thank you, I guess. We are all mentally ill! Yeah! Woo! I'm gonna get to the save point up here, and then we'll call it quits. That sounds like a pretty good plan, I think. You, monster! <laughs> Cryptic Krypton, it's in the Bigfoot pose. I love this. This is such a good enemy. Oh my god. I have 1200 HP. I am crazy with it. <laughs> I love that it's just blurry, that's so good. I imagine this is just what it actually looks like, and it's just somehow always blurry. Cryptic Cryptid Attacks. Player cast Scorch. Weak. Down. Oh, is it over? And a nice level up. I need to read this. Please tell me it's just always blurry. Um, is this really the best picture we could get? That's just what it looks like. Please stop tainting this bestiary with lies. I think that's just what it looks like. That's awesome. That's really what I was hoping for. Um, um, we'll grab this. A Mega Ether. That's probably like the last Dragonberry maybe, but we're going a little over time. So next time, we'll hike up there to get that pair of dragon- or that set of dragon berries, and then I feel like we're eventually gonna swap over to what Jody and Allison are up to. So, I'll see you then.